So here are the ingredients for the Garang Asam Ikan Tenggiri Spicy Sour Fish Curry Here I have about 14 shallots 1.5 inch of Galangal which is also known as Lengkuas 6 buah keras Candle nut Here I used about 4 serai Lemongrass Just the inner part Small piece of blachan Shrimp block A small piece of fresh turmeric Kunyit And 3 cloves of garlic I'm going to put this in a food processor And grind them coarsely And as for the fish I'm using ikan tenggiri Spanish mackerel Just cut them into big chunks And there's no bone in it eh? More of the fillet I have some okras, bendi, four lemongrass, sarai, lightly crushed, a few kaffir lime leaves, daun, limau puro, one small tomato, and a couple of red and green chili paddy, dry chili paste. Uh, this what I did is uh, I just cut them into small pieces to remove most of the seeds and boil them for about 10 minutes and grinded them. So this is not sorted. There's no salt or anything of that sort. Huh? Just a plain dry chili paste. Tamarind water or tamarind juice. It's about 600 ml here. More or less you can decide how much of tamarind uh, liquid that you want to pour in depending on the amount of curry that you want oil salt some sugar stock powder this is uh, vegetable stock powder and julian coffee lime leaves it's going to be a very simple recipe so let's get started look like once you have grinded it I just added a little water because of the kalangal huh? it's a bit tough so you must add little water uh, it doesn't have to be too coarse just something like this you can use your thumb and index finger and you can just check to see the texture is just right okay if you find that it's too chunky, then just grind them.
about 15 minutes now. You see that the gravy has uh, started to thicken. So at this point of time, check for seasoning. You can add in the salt or sugar if you want to. Then just add a bit more sugar and salt. So all this you can just adjust according to your taste bud. So if you want the gravy to be a bit uh, watery, at this point of time, you can start adding in the fish. But I'm just going to allow this to boil for another five more minutes because I want the gravy to be thick. That's, uh, that's my preference. So just allow this to boil and keep it covered. So here it is, the Garang Asam Ikan Tenggiri. Smells awesome and such a simple recipe. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and will definitely give it a try. So until I see you again on my next video, thank you for watching. Bye!